Well, part of the weekend chores is this little tiny hole of field mouse. I don't even know how he got up there. Um, little tiny field mouse got up inside my waterproof cover for my cargo rack. And not only does everything smell like death now, because that's where he decided to end his life, but um, he chewed the crap out of things. Ew. Gross. I missed one. Um, so when it rained, everything got soaking wet. Ew. Come on, buddy. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. It's gross. Come on. Ew, maggot. They live in the same area. Gross. Um, yeah, so... I have to dry everything out in there and let the death smell dissipate. Let all that dry out, repack everything. Um, in addition to, so this is um, the water barrels empty that served us well. This is my 100 gallon water bladder. And that's the water that will get us through the next 29, 28 days. Um, but... There's no way to attach a hose to this guy. Um, it doesn't come with any sort of attachments that communicate with my hoses. So I have to offload the water into that gallon jug with a funnel and then bring the gallon pitcher over and put it in the port and go get another gallon. And so as you can imagine, I only put in a couple of gallons a day. Um, we seem to only go through one gallon a day because I fill up the three gallon dog water jug out here directly there. Anyway, so that's about 600 pounds. That's why I don't just hoist it and lift it and, you know, dump it more easily somewhere. So that's today chores, clean out the death smell let that dry out put some more water in the tank Hooray! so what the body can't do lift 400 pounds of water um the brain can they can't raise the water i lowered the bucket oh. oh i can get a whole gallon in there 